as the impeachment inquiry ramps up in Washington, President Trump is in London, and he wasted no time going after a key American ally. CBS News' Cindy Palm reports. President Trump met with French President Emmanuel Macron just hours after attacking the European ally at the start of a two-day NATO summit in London. You just can't go around making statements like that. About Mr. Trump called President Macron's recent comments about NATO very nasty. The French leader said NATO is brain dead because of a lack of U.S. leadership. When France makes a statement like they made about NATO, it's a very dangerous statement for them to make. During a Q&A with the media, President Trump poked fun at Macron after he gave a long answer to whether France should do more to take ISIS fighters captured in the Middle East. This is why he's a great politician, because that was one of the greatest non-answers I've ever heard, <laughs> and that's okay. While the president defended NATO from criticism by the French president, Mr. Trump unloaded on members of the alliance for not contributing enough in defense spending. It's not right to be taken advantage of on NATO and also then to be taken advantage of on trade, and that's what happens, and we can't let that happen. With President Trump back in London, so are the protesters. They're moving from Trafalgar Square here in the center of the city to Buckingham Palace, where the Queen is hosting a reception for NATO leaders. He's encouraging divisions uh, internationally by pulling out of treaties, by insulting other world leaders. As the UK heads into a general election next week, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson warned President Trump not to interfere. I stay out of it. Uh, I think Boris is very capable and I think he'll do a good job. The president has his own political battle back home, with Democrats holding impeachment hearings aimed at possibly removing him from office. Cindy Palm, CBS News, London.